unbelievable. Like, wow. No, because usually you think of a blizzard being in, like in the Northeast or in the Great Plains, but not here in the Midwest. Oh, we probably have afterward, but not before. I mean, it was just a meteorological term, but didn't have the experience to go with it. But boy, did we ever find that in short order. Oh boy, now I have to do some quick adding and subtracting. I can't do math that quickly. Let's see, half of what I am now. <laughs> oh, that gave it away. Uh, 36, I think. Well, I tried, but it was empty when I got there. We sent somebody, we did have a four-wheel drive vehicle at the station, and there was a little kind of a supermarket on uh, uh, Illinois, and we just literally bought out all of the food that they had. No, I didn't, unfortunately. I wasn't thinking that far ahead. To no, that day. no, and I, I paid the price, too, as the days wore on. There's nothing like rinsing out some of your clothes in the sink of a motel. I think about three days before I finally got back home. I had come in on Wednesday, the 25th. The storm got underway uh, that evening, and I finally made it home on Saturday morning at about 2 a.m. <laughs> uh, no, not really. Hadn't thought about that that much. Just surviving, that was the key. <laughs> no, I, I felt pretty confident I would melt by then, but it might be into April that the right things looked, certainly after the storm ended. <laughs>